Hey, scrapbook friends, it's Nicole, and I'm excited to be here with you with another finished album flip through. Um, it's been a while since I've done one of these. I have a whole bunch of finished albums, but I've been kind of using these album flip throughs as motivation for me to finish the albums that I have in progress, which I have far too many of those right now. Um, but this weekend, I happen to have a little bit of extra time. And so I'm um, devoting some of it to getting these projects done that are mostly done. So this is a trip that my husband and I took to Disneyland Calif in California um, in 2018. I only say California for those of you who aren't up on your Disney stuff and think, don't you go to Disney all the time? We do, but Disneyland is kind of more of a treat for us. Um, this album cover was from the Magic Awaits collection. I want to say that was maybe 2019 um, or so that we had that. Um, Disney World doesn't have any kind of a Ferris wheel or a kind of a big coaster like this, but California Adventure um, at Disneyland does, and so I thought this would be perfect for that trip. It's a sparkly... I, I want to call it was called, say it was called cinnamon sparkle or something like that. So it's just a very fun, um, not specific to any brand of theme park, as I like to say, but really worked for this particular trip to Disneyland. So the I did all the fonts, all the titles are cut with my silhouette, um, and the font is called Chicken Pie. Chicken Pie is the name of that font, um, and I love to be able to cut titles because I can do it in any size I want, in any color I want, and never run out of letters. But I will say that that's one of the things that's kind of holding me back of getting some of these albums finished is it does take a while because I don't, um, I don't do titles as I go. I do the layouts and then I come back and put the titles in the journaling. So I may need to reconsider that. So this album has a fun inside uh, section with some stars and a little uh, ticket where I could just wrote that my husband and I went to Disneyland um, and I didn't put the exact dates. I probably need to go back and find those, but I have to admit that I'm not exactly sure um, what the numbers of the day. And I'm sorry about the glare. Um, it's a, it's a toss-up. Either I, either I have a little bit of light glare or it's too dark for you to see what I'm doing. Let's see if I can zoom out just a little bit. Whoa. Don't want you to see all my messy desk. There we go. I'll move that. Okay. So here we go with the album flip through. Um, one of the things that I have been doing, I've been trying to, um, one of my lights out here in the way, um, I've been trying to use up old product and I have a bunch of old CM stuff, old collections. And so you're going to see a lot of older papers, I think, in this, in this album. Oh, one thing, as I see this light causing, putting glare on me, um, one of the days we were here at Disneyland, we were with another couple and they are going through a pretty messy divorce right now. And I don't have permission to um, put their pictures on YouTube. And um, one of the parties I cannot communicate with to ask for that because things are just too emotionally fraught right now. So as we get farther back, you're going to see a whole bunch of little yellow post-it notes covering up faces and names. I know that's a little distracting when you're looking at the layouts, but it was that or not show that whole section. So um, first place we went, California Adventure. I journaled a little bit about why we went to California and it was for my parents' and wedding anniversary. And I think that I've, I did a separate album. I can't remember if I've showed it to you guys or not. Um, but, you know, we I can't, couldn't go to California without spending a little time at Disneyland, right? So we did two days before and two days after at, at Disneyland. So the first day we went to California Adventure because it, there's no, no park like it in Florida. And it's just, you know, it's more different than regular Disneyland. So this layout, meeting Minnie, I actually did a YouTube video on this technique with the big double triangles a long, long, long time ago. Like, I don't even know how far back I did this. I'll, I'll have to go check on my YouTube, but it's been a couple of years. So it's been a long time that I've been working on this album, except of course that I finished the album and then I just didn't come back and do titles and journaling. So uh, I'm, I'm trying to be better, but here we go with, you can see the video. I'll put the, the um, link to that in the description. Meeting Mickey, I was wearing a shirt with little, or uh, meeting Minnie, I had little Minnie Mouse heads on my shirt and Minnie like that. My favorite is that uh, the PhotoPass photographer got this picture of my husband taking a selfie, and then this is that selfie, and I think that's fun. 
So um, we also met Doc McStuffins, Sophia the First, and I journaled right here that we don't really know who they are. I didn't say, what I should have said is that our kids are too old. We don't have kids in that target audience, but um, our kids are too old. But we don't know who they were, but there was nobody in line to see them. So how could we not see those poor little characters standing all alone and not go get our picture taken? Um, this technique is one that I love. Um, I can't remember what we called it, but basically I just took some old CM stickers. Maybe you remember their old Miss, I, I don't, they were not Mrs. Grossman's. They were creative memories, but we had these little ambulance and medical stuff. And so Doc McStuffins, and I just kind of made this confetti border with a few little tri dots. You remember those? Let's see. All right, how far in can we go? Zoom, zoom, zoom. See the little tri dots? That's, um, that's just a little border technique that we used to do. So, um, uh, too far. Okay. Anyway, that was a, that's a fun way. If you've got some of those old stickers lying around with the tiny little images, I mean, these are teeny tiny. That's like the size of my fingernail. Um, that's a fun way to use them up. You can do just a side border or a, a frame around your pictures. And I was so glad to get to use those. This paper, I think, um, was from close to my heart. It was a collection called Kaleidoscope and I really liked it. And I've, I think I've used all that I had, um, of the Kaleidoscope. This layout was inspired by a layout that I saw on Pinterest. Um, I think it was a digital layout, but I was able to easily recreate it with the eyeballs, just using a couple circle punches. Um, this was from maybe Fresh Fusion. I don't know. I combined a bunch of different paper packs and then just did it on a cardstock backing. Um, somebody asked me recently, a couple people have asked me recently about page protectors. I do always, always put page protectors on. I like the traditional CM pages with the jeeping. Um, and then I slide on the page protectors. I don't put those on till I film the video though, because you can see this, you know, the glare. It just, it, I feel like you, I get a better video of it without the page protectors, but I promise that I always put those on before I put this out for people to look at. So please don't worry about my photos getting all fingerprinty by little fingers looking at them. Uh, this layout, I think, was from a CM Virtual Crop. Um, I don't exactly remember which one, but I think I probably posted it in the Virtual Crop group when it happened, whenever that was. But they um, they sell the most dangerous tacos in the galaxy, and we ate them, and they were very spicy, a little too dangerous for me. But I thought this was fun, and this is also with, I think this is Magical Weights that had the dimensional layered borders um, that was the that was the theme park collection. Right now, of course, we have Sparks of Magic, and I think we're going to see some of that later on. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy. If you're familiar with Disney World, they have the um, Tower of Terror. Well, in Florida, it's been reimagined to be um, a Guardians of the Galaxy theme. We saw Groot, and you know. We didn't write it. I don't write it. I, I can't write it. I'm scared of heights. I'm basically a wimp, you guys. For someone that loves Disney as much as I do, I don't really write any of the things. But I don't know where this paper came from. It is not CM. I've had it for a while. But I thought that the gears and stuff went really well. Kind of this steampunky look of the Guardians of the Galaxy. And I like the way this uh, is laid out. This is probably also based on a sketch I saw somewhere. But I like having the three photos here. And then these three little pictures of... Oh, Gamora, I think is her name, like walking away. We didn't really get to see her. So they're kind of terrible pictures. And then I just framed the one picture of us. But I think that the layout looks nice, even though it only has one picture on this whole page. So here's a really busy page using unidentified cloud paper that I bought probably for this purpose. But they used to have uh, this Flix Fun Fair in California Adventure. It's closed now. But these are the Mrs. Grossman stickers. Remember the bug stickers? If you've been around CM for a while, we had all these bug stickers. Who wants to scrapbook bugs unless they are the cute bugs from It's a Bug's Life? So I was able to use a lot of those for this layout. Some grass at the bottom, just kind of shrunken down to a bug. So if you got some, some bug stickers, I hate to tell you that uh, the Flix Fun Fair at Disney California Adventure is gone. So we'll have to hope for another Bugs Life themed kind of thing. I think you can see uh, Flick and Princess Ada at uh, Animal Kingdom. Okay, I tried to adjust the camera to get rid of some of the glare. Couldn't do it. So, um, sorry, I tried, but I, I can't turn off the overhead lights. 
that uh, sorry about that so this is just some ran a random photo pass photographer um, I think this also I know that this idea I got from somewhere else online it's little one inch strips of paper designer paper kind of stacked on top of each other and then the strip that goes across the, the middle I use kind of a wave for the big stripe and then these are different rock papers mostly from creative memories so um, they're all kind of natural colors except that I'm wearing this bright pink jacket which is kind of in your face and so I decided to go with it I would use the bright pink title for my um, for my layout title uh, pretty simple just you know photo pass photographer if I'm going to pay for the photo pass my family knows that they're going to have to stop and get their picture taken all right the next few layouts are from cars land um, cars land is fabulous the theming is so good it's I mean it's in my mind it's equal to like the star wars land they did such a great job um, but I didn't have a lot to journal about and maybe I need to go back and do some journaling but these are all just photo pass photographers. We were there on a weekday. The photographers were super friendly and happy to take our picture. And we got lots and lots of pictures. Um, these are pictures I took just in Radiator Springs. And we rode on the ride and, you know, in the ride. But I used the little um, on the road border maker cartridge. This was a favorite one that I had. I've used it so much. And it's perfect for, for Cars Land. I hope this is one they'll either bring back or reimagine. But you can see, like, I don't really have anything to say about Cars Land. And maybe I need to come up with something. But Because I don't like to have pages and pages with no journaling and no nothing. Um, under the Sea, Little Mermaid. Again, I'm trying to use up um, papers and stuff that I've been accumulating for years. A lot of this is not CM. The Seashells Border Maker cartridge is, so that kind of worked together. And again, that chicken pie font, I don't have to think about what font I'm going to use because I can just use the same font. It makes it a lot faster to cut all my all my titles with, with the silhouette. Um, one of the things they have at California Adventure is a Boudin bakery tour, and they sell that sourdough bread. We had gone to San, uh, San Francisco the previous year and brought home some of that sourdough bread, which was so awesome, and I was so excited to get to have some more. We were going to bring it home, but the they were closed for the season and so they didn't have the bakery and they didn't have the bread i couldn't go on the tour i was very sad um and then i just have some pictures of this part of uh, epcot called i mean uh, sorry ha uh, of california adventure called paradise bay um i didn't journal anything about that either i it's just it's pictures of paradise bay so i don't know if, what should i say about paradise bay so Oswald is a classic Disney character. He was a precursor actually to Mickey Mouse and we had a super fun interaction with him. Actually, my husband had took video of me interacting with him. I wrote a little bit about this and maybe I need to like upload it to a private YouTube channel and put a QR code so people could watch it um, because it was really fun. But it was, um, it, you know, he, he, I gave him a kiss kiss on his nose and then he was all upset and here's my husband making his angry face oh no haha ha, Oswald it's fine pose with us all right now he like pantomimed and got my husband to come down and you know get on on one knee and whatever give me a kiss so all right next we went to the jazz kitchen at uh, downtown Disney it's still called downtown Disney with uh, these friends that are whose faces need to be hidden um the jazz kitchen their little logo was on this card. I did buy the pictures that they took. I guess it was just this one picture and then they gave us these little cards. They also gave me some in like black and white, but I didn't end up using those. This is the, um, was this the Baroque frame punch? Um, I, you know, cut one as a punch and one as a frame to kind of offset them in the blue and, and green and yellow kind of of the New Orleans flavor. So that was our first night. And then the next day we all, went to the Magic Kingdom together. Um, this paper too, I don't know where this paper came from, but I love these pastel colors. They go, it goes so nicely with Sleeping Beauty's Castle. Maybe not so much with my bright green Kermit shirt, but what are you gonna do? Um, and probably again, an idea that I got from somewhere else with just, these are like, these are two by 10 inch strips, except for the last one, which is one inch. And you could like punch down something in here, but it makes a cute backing and kind of gives that frame look without having to just 
you know, I often will use like a piece of paper in here, but I liked the stripes. I think it gave it a little bit more fun. I was able to tie in all these colors. And of course, one photo in a circle. It's not something we I do as much anymore. We used to always do um, circles or something. And um, I don't always, but when I do, I'm glad that I did. I like the way it looks. So some, the Monte Cristo sandwich, trying on some hats, waiting for the train, just kind of random photos. And these are actually uh, Fast to Fab pages with the yellow is mine and this stripe is mine. I added that, but the border and the balloons were in the Magical Weights Fast to Fab pages. And I don't use the Fast to Fab pages very much, mostly because I don't often have a whole album that I want to use the same color scheme on. But I do like to incorporate them into my uh, into my albums when I can. So uh, this is some old CM paper. I can't remember the name of it. But um, if you go to Disneyland at the Bengal Barbecue, they sell these bacon wrapped asparagus spears. They're pretty much my favorite thing in all of Disney. You can have your Dole Whip and your churro. I'll take some bacon wrapped asparagus. So yummy. Um, I did want to point out that right here, I used the Picket Fence Border Maker cartridge. That's the one that comes in with the Border Maker. We don't see a lot of use, a lot of people using it, I don't feel like. But because I, I punched it twice and kind of hit it behind, it almost gives that Rick Rack look but it wasn't Rick Rack. It was just the, the Picket Fence Border Maker. And, and looking at this makes me realize I need to use it again sometime. So maybe in one of my next tutorial videos, I'll remember to use that and give you that cute, cute Rick Rack look. Um, I was working on this when we got the Planes, Trains, and Automobiles collection. So I did get to use the train die cut and the train tracks punch. This one did sell out pretty fast, um, but it's been a fun one to, to use, especially you know for me and Disney. And then this is the paper from that. Jungle Cruise, um, it's basically the same ride at in California as it is in uh, Florida, except in California they have piranhas. And so there's no people on this. I just took pictures of the ride. And one of these days I'm going to like not feel the need to take pictures on every ride because I've scrapbooked it 15 times. But right now I still do because it's fun to get to scrapbook, you know, the Jungle Cruise. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean. You know, I struggle with titles some. Um, how many times can you write Pirates of the Caribbean or whatever? But I feel like just Yoho, you guys all know the rest, right? Either you either you know it or you don't know it. And uh, probably you know it. And I apologize if I've given you all an earworm. Um, and then we saw Moana, which was fun. She was just kind of randomly walking around. I think this is also some close to my heart paper. This, I don't know where this pirate paper came from. It's, it's not close to my heart or creative memories. It's from some simple stories or something that I bought a long time ago, pirate pack. Then back to Toontown. These are more of the fast to fab pages. So this was all done. I did put the color blocks on these two sets of pictures, but other than that, all of this was on there already. And then I curved the title and I don't do that a lot, but I felt like it matched kind of the, um, the feel of the page. One of the things I also do when I cut titles, and I did, I've done it on almost all the pages, I just didn't point out to you, is that I've traced around these. They're cut out of cardstock. I adhere them using my Xyron, and then I trace around them um, with a pen, usually a black pen. And I feel like it just makes the, um, makes the letters pop off the page a little bit. As I was going through and prepping this today um, so that I could finish it up, there were pages I had not put the um, traced the lines around and I ended up going back and tracing. And there are a couple that I left untraced and I may have to go back and trace them because it really does make a difference even if there is contrast between the backing, uh, the backing page and the, the title. So like this one I didn't trace around but I kind of wish that I had. So this was a piece of paper I got from somewhere else um, years and years ago. I had two of them, but you can't put two facing pages. I didn't need two facing pages because there was exactly the same paper. But I did cut out the little Buzz Lightyear image from the second paper and I popped it up on foam squares. Can you see he's kind of dimensional? And so that kind of gave a little bit of interest. And now both of those papers are out of my stash and I don't have to find room to store them in my house anymore. So um, Space Mountain, I didn't say anything. It's it's Space Mountain. I guess I could say I don't write it, um, but I didn't say that. I just said Lost in Space at Space Mountain. So 
um, character sightings. I wrote just about that. One of the things we love about Disneyland is that you see characters walking around and Florida, you don't see that so much. They, um, they're pretty much, you've got to, you've got to find them. You know, they have specific character greeting areas, but in, in California, we saw Belle, we saw Captain Jack, Peter Pan, Hook, um, and the princesses were just kind of out and about. And that was really fun. I love this layout. I don't know that I've showed it before. I, I, I don't, I didn't do it on YouTube. It was before I was doing YouTube, but I have showed this layout on my uh, my Facebook page, and it's I just it turned out so cute. I took, of course, the inspiration of what the small world exterior of the ride looks like, and I just kind of tried to mimic it with some strips and some um, just decorative elements at the top. So the tops are are bronze shimmer. The strips are just white, and I put it on blue. This one does have a different title because. When I finished this, I I wanted to cut a title and I wanted to post it to Facebook and I like to always journal and title something before I share it because then it's finished. Um, so I don't remember what font that is, but it's, I don't know. It might be cut with my Cricut Joy. I don't know. I got so many cutting machines, but I love this one. This was really, really fun to do. And then the next page, I just kind of went with that same theme and I did kind of a collage page and pieces from punches. Here's the uh, the roller coaster punch. This is from the film strip punch, the arch frame punch, just some circles. I had a lot of fun creating this layout. And this is one of the lay the types of layouts is kind of um, color blocking that I actually do a lot of, and I probably need to do a video. So if that's something you're interested in, just kind of don't don't exactly nag me, but you can remind me gently that, hey, you said you were going to do a color blocking layout. All right. Uh, Mickey's Magical Map was just a little stage show that we went to. It was fun. We got some confetti, which at the time I probably thought I was going to bring home and, you know, put in the layout somehow, but I refrained. So um, just pictures of the show. And a lot, I got a lot of pictures, you know, I, I did kind of the, the stage part across the top and then some of the characters and then us down here in the in the audience watching uh, storybook land canal boats is my favorite thing at um, Disneyland when I was a little girl and I did journal about this but when I was a little girl I was terrified to go in Monstro's mouth it was so scary but it was so worth it because after you came through there were all these cute little towns and it's even better now because now they've rethemed it to be like towns from Disney movies so I like that a lot um, I think this was Fresh Fusion or Rainbow Rush. I get those two mixed up all the time. The little splash stickers were from uh, Electric Summer. And I don't know where these little wave stickers are from. Probably that same place. All right, Disneyland Railroad. Again, I was able to use this stuff from the, the trains um, collection that we had with planes, trains, and automobiles. Used lots and lots of the train tracks punch. This is based on a sketch or a Pinterest or something that I saw somewhere with, they use strips of, contrasting papers but I used the railroad punch and so that's why you kind of have them going in two directions and then there's tons of train tracks on the back but if you can't use it for the Disneyland Railroad what can you use it for so great moments with Mr. Lincoln um, this is using the decorative arcs border punch this was the very first border punch that creative memories had and it sold out in a flash and for a long time, people were asking about it. And then they brought it back a couple summers ago. So I was so glad about that. So hopefully everybody that wanted the opportunity to get the decorative arcs frame punch was able to get it. This is a little bit more fussy layout than I like to do because I had to punch this so many times to make it work out. But I think it looks so pretty. And I only had, you know, I, well, I had a bunch of pictures. These are four by sixes. And then these are three two inch squares. It kind of looks like it's one big wide piece, but it's just three. Maybe I need to frame those out. I don't know. And then the Disneyland band, I didn't journal anything because I didn't know what to say. Um, that's the Disneyland band. That's that's all I know, Disneyland band. All right, um, here's using the picket fence punch again. I did, I punched it all the way around and it creates this little, like a little plus sign in the corner, which I think is cute. And then I wove a piece of complimentary paper through it. You can also use ribbon, but I love this look. Um, and I really am trying to, show some love to the picket fence punch. Maybe it, maybe it needs its own video. So um, another thing you can gently remind me of. This one I did not use, I did not make using the new um, circle cutter because it wasn't here yet. I had to cut this with, you know, the different circles from the, um, 
custom cutting system, I think. Um, so I'm so glad now it would have been so much easier with, with the circle cutter. And I do not ride this, you know, you guys, if I didn't, didn't ride Space Mountain, you can bet I'm not going to ride the teacups, but at Disneyland, they have a teacup you can take a picture in that doesn't spin. So if you're going to ask me if I want to go for a spin, the answer would be no. Oh, this paper I think was from Daydreamer. Uh, this was Electric Summer, one of my favorite paper packs. This was from Daydreamer. This is another layout that I have already done a tutorial here on my channel a long time ago, like maybe way back during COVID. Um, I showed you how to do this oval kind of a racetrack. I think that's the name of it. I'll try to um, link that down below. And then the scallops around here are the Apple border maker cartridge. And I love the way that turned out. I love being able to take like a theme specific um, punch or cartridge and tweak it so that it works for more than just what it's kind of intended to work for. All right. Um, I didn't, I guess I didn't write anywhere on here about where, where we broke. So it was after the night pictures here, the storybook land at night was our last thing we did. No, the train was our last thing we did that night. And then maybe. Um, and then we went to my parents' 50th wedding anniversary. And then we came back after that weekend and we're here for two more days. So obviously I need to put a little note in there that that's what happened in between these things. But we went back to storybook land and got to see it in the day where my pictures would actually turn out, you know, so I got to see where like Mr. Toad lives and, uh, Eric, Prince Eric's castle and, um, Cinderella's castle and Arendelle. Um, then we obviously went back across the street to California Adventure because we went to the Frozen Live show at the Hyperion. Um, they used to have an Aladdin show at this theater, which we absolutely loved. <coughs> Excuse me. Didn't love Frozen quite as much, but, um, but it was still fun. And they have an Olaf puppet that's just super, super fun. Um, went and did a little Toy Story Mania. Um, I can't remember. This might have been the one time I beat my husband's score, but I probably didn't. He probably beat me because I never beat him. And then they had this fun um, photo frame that you could take pictures with. And anytime they have a photo frame, um, it seems like the, the photographers like do more fun things with you. And then it also gave me the inspiration to kind of use this airmail design for my layout so it's just kind of a creamy colored page to match that and then the stripes so it was super easy and i do have another layout in here that's got a person um it's all about pictures with this person that we met up with at disneyland but again no permission and just decided it was easier to just clip the pages together love this page i used the best in show cat papers and it's about these cats of disneyland you should google it there's i think there's a fa uh, website called cats of disneyland that talks about it so interesting about these cats that they're feral cats and they i mean how do you keep cats out of anywhere um and originally when they built disneyland they like drove them out but then um they found that they had mice and so then they're like oh wait we need these cats to come back so they feed them they have like supplemental food for them and they give them a little bit of veterinary care they spay and neuter them and then they just kind of roam disneyland they don't like you don't see them in the day. They don't come out when all the people are there. You know how cats are. Um, but at night they come out and then there are a few places where you, you would occasionally see them. I don't think Florida has, I don't think there are cats of Disney World, but these cats of Disneyland were a fun little thing to discover. Back across the street to Disneyland, a picture in front of the Main Street Station because we like to do that. Mr. Toad's Wild Ride because, you know, you gotta, um, you gotta ride the ones in California that we don't have in Florida. And again, I was able to use those little cars and this time I cut them out separately. So I cut the curve. I think I might've freehanded that. And then I cut the little cars out. So they're not attached to the border maker. They're just separate. And then I kind of just did the same curve. And I think I used the automobiles paper pack for all this because it's got kind of the roadway and these little arrows and a map. We're almost to the end. Uh, the Wicked Queen. Um, it's just, it's cool because she kind of peeks out from the Snow White Scary Adventures ride. I think this might be the Croptoberfest project recipe from a couple of years ago. It made a double page spread, but I only used half of it. But the apple motif is perfect for, um, for Snow White. I did journal with a white pen. I used the, a jelly roll pen. Creative Memories did have a white chalking pen, but I, for journaling, I really do like those white jelly roll pens. 
Um, and then just some pictures again, photo pass pictures. This is another one where I've traced around the letters in my title. And this one, I used that white pen just on the parts that were dark where it was blending in. But you see how that just makes the title pop because I was able to trace around it. On this one, I messed up when I traced around it. I wasn't going to show you that, but I'm, I'm going to have to like find a colored pencil or something that's the same color of that green on the W because I went right over it with my, with my red pen and it looked terrible. All right, and then the last page, um, we hooked up with our friend. I'll tell you that his name is Peter, um, and he lives close by, but he's a friend of ours from high school that lived close by, and this was our final picture on the last night. I really like this layout too. I don't do a lot of layouts with a single photo, but when I do, it's fun to kind of play around and to be able to use a bunch of the papers from the Magical Weights collection. So there you go. There's my Disneyland 2018 album all done. I even had the, you know, the spine done and it's ready to have its page protectors put on and put on my shelf, but I wanted to show it to you and I hope that you enjoyed it and thank you for being motivation to me to get my journaling and my titles done so this could go on my shelf. Um, I'll be back soon with either a tutorial, a new product preview, or um, another album flip through. You never know. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Thanks to those of you who like and subscribe and especially who take the time to comment or to comment over on my Facebook page. Thanks very much and happy scrapbooking.